one parameter that is often confusing for beginners, and I'm speaking from my personal experience, is the in-place parameter. I'm going to do my best to explain it in simple terms. The in-place parameter is used whenever you want to overwrite the original pandas object, oftentimes a data frame. So if we have a data frame and we modify it, the in-place parameter is defaulted to false. This means that the original data frame is not modified yet. It doesn't even exist until you assign it to something. It is merely in the memory. This is oftentimes why you see us assigning the changes and setting it equal to a new data frame name. Most of the time you will see people bypass the in-place parameter and just save it back to another data frame. So again, the in-place parameter is basically asking, do you want to override the existing data frame? If yes, set the in-place parameter equal to true. And if no, then set it equal to false. Let's go look at a couple examples. So let's actually look at one that we were doing previously, where I was taking the DF sample of 20 and saving it back to a new slim data frame. And so if we look at this one, we see we have our random 20 players, which is always fun to look at which 20 are selected. Now let's say we wanted to modify this data frame. So what if we wanted to sort the values, and we haven't looked at this in detail yet, but we will, will soon, by games played. Now, if we run this, it is going to take our games played column and sort our data frame. And you'll see this is now going from the lowest games played to the highest. However, this isn't actually saved anywhere. So if we were to go and run our original data frame and look at it again, you'll see it's still in its original form where nothing is sorted by games played. Now, what if we wanted to say, hey, take that sort values by games played and let's save it back to the original data frame name and we can just override it. So if we were to run this and then print it, it actually would save the original sorted values as the new DF slim data frame. And then if we printed it, it would uh, look identical to this. However, this is often confusing, and what we may want to rather do is set the in-place parameter. So instead of saving it back to the original data frame, we could actually run the in-place and set it equal to true. Now, we no longer need to set this equal because it is going to modify this original data frame in place. So if we run this, and now look at DF, slim, you'll see we get that same result. So what is actually happening then, then in that original, so if we wanted to instead look at something saying DF slim sort values, and we'll do it this time by points. When we run this, this is actually saying in place equals false, which is the default. So it will still run it, but it's not going to overwrite anything in the original data frame. So we can run it. And this is now sorted by the points. And you'll see Gary Neal is at the top. But if we look at our DF Slim, it's not going to be sorted by the points. It's going to remain and be sorted by the games played. So you see it is still sorted by the games played and not the points. A little hard to tell there. But again, what we can do is we can take the in place equal to false, and maybe instead we'd rather save this to DF sorted points data frame. So we don't lose our original DF slim 
uh, data at all. We keep it intact, but instead we run an operation on it. We say don't override that original DF slim, but instead let's save it to a new data frame. And now we can take our DF sorted points and do whatever we want with this, knowing that our DF slim we can always revert back to uh, whenever we want. So to review, the in place parameter is false by default, and we only want to change it to true if our goal is to overwrite the original data frame without reassigning it to another variable. There are times we are going to want to keep it as false, and other times when we want to set it to true but I think this is an important concept that is often overlooked and not discussed as widely on Stack Overflow. Hope you found this helpful.